question to you is, to, would you talk a little bit about your personal reasons for becoming uh, a whistleblower? I know we just spoke about how you don't see yourself as a doctor as a whistleblower. Uh, definitely can describe us that a lot. And uh, uh, I had a lot of contact with whistleblowers as publisher of Opera News, and I know that whistleblowers can have a hard life, uh, very hard sometimes. So I'd like to know a little bit about that. The reasons for, for coming out with your story, the experiences, the epiphanies, I know that you, you cite a quote from Dante, the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who in time of great moral crises maintain their neutrality. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rob. Can you, can you hear us? No, well, yeah. 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 Sorry, I'm trying to speak loud. Um, I don't consider myself a whistleblower. Uh, technically, I think, uh, maybe the legal definition, if there is such a thing, uh, I consider myself almost in the role that I had many years ago as a journalist, maybe an advocacy journalist uh, these days. Whistleblowers, in my view, are someone, are, are people who have a smoking gun or, or, or uh, some evidence or some document that they uh, feel they uh, need to disclose and make public and would put themselves in jeopardy, cost them their jobs if they, uh, they go public with it. As Rob said, I'm not a disgruntled Cigna employee. I had a very good career at Cigna for 15 years. And up until the day I left, I was a spokesman for the company and uh, had been head of corporate communications for quite a long time. Uh, many friends there. And in fact, when I left my job, the, my friends and bosses gave me a nice going away party. So it was a, um, a great career that I had. I began, though, becoming very disillusioned with my job and with my with the industry that I was serving as a spokesman for. Over the past uh, few years, you may be aware, in fact, some of you may already be in what is called consumer-directed health plans. And these are, um, as a euphemist word in my view, for health plans that are, are shifting more and more of the financial burden of health care, the actual cost of health care, away from insurance companies and employers and onto the shoulders of of uh, mainly working Americans, uh, men and women. And uh, it's, it's part of what I have read is a uh, risk shift, uh, a shifting of the, uh, of, of the risk and financial risk of, uh, of health care uh, and insurance from insurance companies, as I said, to, uh, uh, to, to individuals.